days away from Super Bowl Sunday. And if we're being honest, for some of us, the food is way more exciting than the actual game. Pretty much, yeah. often. Our next guest is sharing some easy and delicious snack ideas. Joining us once again is Chef George Duran. Chef George, good morning, welcome back. Hi, guys. Back. You always bring amazing stuff to us. It looks kind of simple. But it, the taste is always amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It, it, game complex. or no game, this is forever you can make these recipes. And they're really creative ways to actually up your game, your cooking yeah. game, mm -hmm. uh, for, for this Sunday. For the actual game. Yeah. And Before you do yeah. all the array, do you actually watch the game? Do oh, you have uh, a dog in this fight? Do you, are you uh, like... The food. I go for the food. I'm like, go food. Go food. Okay, great. <laughs> I don't care who wins. Just we make can, the food we can good. continue with this care. segment then. We're, <laughs> on the same, we're on the same team. Then. Good, good, yeah, good, good. Because I brought the big winners over here. And what I'm going to make today are th very simple ingredients. We're going to make a Greek salad nacho. And it's very simple. We're going to take some pita bread. And I'm working with the Tufayan food. Mm -hmm. okay. And they make one of the best pitas. They're based in Richfield, New Jersey, actually. They make hearth bread flatbreads. Yes. And the quality of their pita is extraordinary. You can find them in the deli or inside the bakery yeah. or at Amazon. And what you're going to do is take Take these pita circles or these um, triangles that I've made, yeah. mm -hmm. add a little olive oil to it, pop it in the oven with this spice here. It's called zatar, mm. zartar. Zartar. Yes. If you smell it, it has thyme in it, sumac, uh, a lot I of different it. herbs oh, in there. And that it's is just the smell of deliciousness. Mm. So that's going to add a little zartar. lemony and a lot of flavor to yeah. it. And then we're going to make a Greek salad nachos. And what I've done here, why don't you hold it and I'll kind of build it Let, while you're holding I'm it with two happy. hands over here. Yes. You're going to build go. it? So I made the chips in the oven. They made it with the pita chips from Tufayan. Okay. And then I'm going to add some of this. These are the cucumbers. Just like a Greek salad. Right? Just toss them on that. Just like okay. that. Believe me, this is going to be incredible. Uh, some tomatoes and, of course, some jalapenos. Or you can there. do okay. any sort of banana peppers. Of course, oh, the kalamata olives. Kalamata olives. And then the we're going to add a little bit of this cheese here, which is the feta cheese, yeah. yeah. of course. So far, so good. Excellent. You have me a little bit of onions. I'm very happy. Oh, my God. How what is that? How these are, get these the, are dried onions. Oh, they're dry onions. They're freeze-dried onions. Where's that zatar? Here it is. Okay. Before I do that, I have a little bit of this lemon juice with herbs and olive oil in there. I'm just going to kind of just you know throughout. what you're doing. Guys, this is the way your nachos are going to change forever. A okay, Greek put aside the, the, the cheese nachos. nachos. More of that zatar that I'm going to put in there. Heavy and on now the zatar. I'm going to hold it because you guys have I to taste it. I was going to say. Go on. Like, liberate heavy me. On okay. Okay. Heavy on the zatar. Please. Yeah, heavy on the zatar. It's okay. not spicy. It's very lemony and delicious. It's like a salad, but with your fingers. That's kind of what it is. You're going to make it, aren't you, this Sunday? Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is so light, yeah. though. It's great. Isn't it and wonderful? But it's healthy, actually. It, it really is. It's very healthy. No, this is no the heavy way cheese I'm... melted on it or bacon. That's exactly or... right. Great that is the truth. To start it off. And then we're going to make something with Tufayan wraps. And this is what I love about their okay. wraps. They have the spinach wrap. And I made kind of like an enchilada mixture with cream cheese and rotisserie chicken and peppers oh. and so on. But when I put it on top of their wrap, I'm going to take some crushed up chips, some tortilla chips. Tortilla chips. Okay. This is going to add some crunch to it. And this is just any old tortilla. Tortilla chip, whatever this, brand you like. Any like anything that you like, you can put it in there, and then you roll, roll. the wrap just like this. this and we're gonna is make some pinwheels. Pin ah. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and make these pinwheels. Where I would go wrong. And oh no, man, I'm telling it. <laughs> go ahead. No, don't worry about it. You didn't go no? to college. What's going on? Come on. He went to city college. Come on. Oh, you can totally roll. We know how to roll. Can. Yeah. All right. Can so we? Something yeah. Else. Go ahead. Dig in there. You put a little salsa if you want on top <laughs> of it, and about enjoy that. it like that. This is how I like to have my sandwiches: bite sides, the crunch. The crunch of the tortillas Perfect. in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See how soft that wrap is? This is what I love about Tufayans. Oh, my God. Texture very important, too. Right? Extremely important. Really important. A combination of flavors and textures. That's how we got to serve them. And then that the, crunch. You're, you're nailing it the again. The crunch. Yeah, you perfect. at home. Add crunch to I always like to throw chips on the sandwich. Holy right? Even on a tuna potato sandwich, chips, I'll put yeah. potato chips on yeah. it. Good mm -hmm. quality mm -hmm. chips will always make a difference. Out. And then the one thing I don't have is dessert every time when I have the big game. Yeah. And this is the one thing that's overlooked. And I'm going to make a fruit salsa and make, again, with a tufayan, I'm going to make some You know pita. what? You, you yeah. get after it. I'm going to be over here eating. Some cinnamon chips that I've made over there. You can taste one of the cinnamon chips if you want. But in the meantime, we're going to oh. make this lovely salsa. It's a fruit salsa. Mm -hmm. I got some uh, diced up Granny Smith apples. Mm -hmm. Inside of it, I have some raspberry jam. You're going to put some of this watermelon in there, strawberries, a little jalapeno, believe it or not, works great with the mm -hmm. fruit as well. Nice. And we're going to mix that up until that uh, mixture of lemon juice and uh, um. strawberry jam is all mixed in there. Man, wow. I'm telling you right now, we're going to serve this up just like this. And those pita chips are same, cinnamon. same, um, the cinnamon. same, exact, same approach, except yes. cinnamon instead exactly. of Exactly. And it's a whole wheat. They're whole wheat, so it's a little bit healthier. You can have a little more fiber in there. If you can dig in there Man, with some I, of it. Now, I did make these with butter. You can make it with any kind of oil, but just yeah, butter and yeah. cinnamon chips, and chips sugar. Fine, they're fine by themselves. Into fine. the air fryer <laughs> for about like mm. 10 to 12 minutes, mm -hmm. and you're going to get these fantastic, mm. yes, mm -hmm. dessert 
chips. I mean, dessert nachos. Like, how can you oh, beat wow. this? You mm. cannot beat dessert nachos. Wow. Wow. Man, you, and just like that, he killed it. They're silent. I mean, every one of these was. Well, they're finally quiet. Yeah, they're finally. Seriously. They're, they're, they're um, not speaking. They're speechless. This oh, was wow. really nice of you. Chris? Thank you. That is. It was nice knowing. I'm you. not a big oh. dessert guy, but because it's got that fresh fruit. In I'm it, a big everything guy. I'm taking this for my and the vit and the pinwheel. Oh, I'm going to be taking all of it. I hope you don't yeah. need this tray back. Because it's all I'm yours, gonna... please. I love it. Free. Sometimes I fake it, but let me tell you, you killed it this time. I never you. Not with you, of course. Oh, Thank okay. you so right. much. Uh, root for the Eagles. I know you don't watch the game, but just root for the Eagles. Go Nachos. No. Go Peter. <laughs> for more recipe ideas, you can follow Chef George Duran on Instagram <laughs> at Chef George Duran. You can also go to his website, georgeduran.com. Wow. Really Great delicious. Stuff. Thank Great you. Recipes. Our bellies are full, okay. but there is always room for more because what am I always doing?